What are master effects in GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone? What do they do? And more importantly, why would you use them in your projects? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Let's go. Hey there, Pete here. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. So the master effects are a throwback to the previous versions of GarageBand where, believe it or not, we only had a single echo and a single reverb to use across all of our different tracks. However, as you may be aware, we now have plugins and EQ where we can actually edit, change, and add any of the built-in or external plugins that we'd like to add to our projects. So do the master effects still have any value at all? What do they do? And more importantly, why would you use them in your project? Well, that's what we're going to cover right now. So here's a project of mine from a while back called Work in Progress. Let's solo this acoustic guitar and give it a play. Pretty good sound. And you'll probably hear that there's already a little bit of processing on there because we have the track reverb. Just so that you can hear this, let's turn it up a little bit. This is the reverb on the track at the moment. So if we have reverb here and we also have delay that we could add here, if we went to edit, we could add a track echo to have our own delay as well like this. Sounds fabulous, right? Not really. So if we have these here, why would we use the master effects? Well, let's go and take a look. To use master effects, first select your track and then tap on the mixer icon up here in the top left. And you'll notice that it's right here. You don't have to go in anywhere else. You can turn up the amount of echo or reverb using these two sliders. To change the type of echo and reverb, simply tap on the master effects heading here and drop down first echo. And you can see you've got a number of choices for the type of echo. Now keep in mind, that when you change this one here from say an eighth note to a quarter note, that is gonna change that across all of your tracks. If I now come to this track and this track and this track, you can only use the one type of master effect. So if you're looking for different types of effects, use your track reverb and track echo instead. To set your reverb type, the same thing. We tap on the drop down arrow here and we can select from a bunch of different types here. Everything from default, ambient, cathedral chamber. Uh, I'm using a medium hall here for this one. You can collapse those by tapping those and then go back to go here to your screen to dial in how much of these effects you want. So let's dial in a decent chunk of reverb and just a little of that echo or delay and take a listen. Sounds pretty good. But why use this over your track echo and track reverb? Well, the reason I like using these is it provides what many call glue. It glues together your mix because what you can do is dial in a little bit of that same echo and reverb across all of your different tracks, across your guitars, across your drums, across your vocals. And it just means that you're going to make your sound sound like it's all in the same space. Since we're all just a work in progress. So it really does allow you to create a room or a space for all of your tracks to sit in. And this is what it was intended for. They work like buses if you've ever used those, having a reverb and a delay bus that you can send audio into to be processed. Is it still okay to completely ignore these and just use your track effects? Absolutely. So if you don't want to use master effects, you don't have to. As I mentioned, they are a bit of a throwback. But if you just want to get that nice little bit of room sound across an entire project, it could be a handy little tip. Hope you found it useful and you can use these in the future. More tips and tricks down in the description below and I'll see you next time.